Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I finally decided to film a makeup tutorial and this is the look I did for you guys. It's a very just natural everyday makeup. So if you would like to see how you can get this makeup look, please keep on watching. So I already applied my base. So to prep my skin, I used the Body Shop Seaweed Mattifying Moisture Lotion. And now I'm just going to take the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer and I'm going to apply this all over my face. And next I'm going to take the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and with my finger I am just going to apply it a very light layer to my nose. And this is just going to help the makeup from coming off. So next, I'm just going to take Garnier Skin Renew BB Cream for Combination Oily Skin. And this is in the shade Light Medium. And I'm just going to take this and apply it with the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. So now that I look crazy, I'm going to blend this out with the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Next, I'm going to be taking Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Fair. And I'm just going to be applying this on all of the high points of my face to highlight and also conceal my under eye circles. So after blending all of that in, I am next going to be baking my under eyes and my smile lines using the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder in Translucent. I know this looks crazy, but I'm also setting this on areas of my face where the powder typically goes away first. Next, I'm taking Rimmel's Stay Matte Powder in Silky Beige and applying this all over the rest of my face. And to do this, I'm using a Coastal Scents Flat Buffing Brush. Next, I'm just going to be taking this Eco Tools Blending Brush and applying this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder on my eyelids just to set the BB cream and concealer that I put on there just to um, cancel out the discoloration in the veins I have on my eyelids. Next, I'm going to be doing my brows, and to do that, I'll be using the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in the shade Caramel. And I'll be applying that with an Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow brush. This is very old. I don't even know if they have it anymore. It's number seven. So after that, I will be wiping my bake away with the Coastal Scents. I'm not quite sure what the name of this brush is, but it's a nice, loose, fluffy brush that works really well in kind of sweeping the bake away without wiping any product off. And next, this is a very simple look, so I will just be applying false lashes and that's all I will be doing for the eyes. And I will be using the Ardell Natural Wispy Lashes. But what I did is I put two pairs of wispy lashes on top of each other just to give a more fluttery effect. And I'm just going to apply those using the Duo Eyelash Adhesive. And to apply these, I'm just going to be using these Kiss Tweezers. So now I'm just going to wait for the lashes to finish drying. So while I wait for that to happen, I'm going to finish up the rest of my face makeup. First, I'm going to apply this Co Bigelow Rose Salve on my lips. And this is just to prep them and moisturize them for the liquid lipstick I'm going to apply. So now I'm going to contour. And to contour, I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in light to medium. I'm going to contour by using the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush and I'm going to take this center shade right here. It 
just make sure when you are applying contour you're not taking it too far down to your mouth because then it's not going to look very natural. As natural as contouring can look, you do want it to look semi-natural. I will just be also bringing any excess product up my temples into my forehead. Obviously contouring isn't required for an everyday makeup look, I just felt like contouring today. But obviously it's whatever you want to do, whatever you feel most comfortable with, whether that's wearing full face makeup every day or no makeup at all, it's whatever makes you happy. Next, I'm going to bronze up my face, and to do that, I will be applying NYC's Smooth Skin Bronzer in the shade Sunny. And I'm just going to be applying that with a Real Techniques blush brush. And just like when you're contouring, it's better to start off with less product and apply more if you need it. Next, I'm going to apply blush. This is Physician's Formula Blush um, in the shade Blushing Peach. And I am applying this using an Eco Tools brush. I do, even on an everyday basis, if I'm just bronzing, like to have a very crisp line. So I'm just going to go in with the Cody Airspun Powder and my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge again, and I'm going to just sharpen up underneath my contour. And while I'm letting that sit, I'm just going to contour my nose. That is something I do contour every day, just because I'm very self-conscious about my nose, so I find contouring makes a huge difference. And again, I'm going to use the Contour Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And to contour my nose, I will just be taking this Eco Tools crease brush, and I will be mixing these two outside shades here. I won't go into too much detail on how I contour my nose in this video because obviously everyone has their own way of doing it. This is just my way and what works for me. So after I applied the contour to my nose, I'll be taking the leftover product on my Real Techniques sponge, which I know is very dirty, I apologize, and just blending out the product I applied to my nose just so it looks more natural and isn't such harsh lines on where I contoured. Now I'm going to brush away the bake under my contour with the same brush that I used to brush away the bake underneath my eyes earlier. And now I'm just going to take that NYC bronzer again and I'm just going to apply this to my jawline and blend it down onto my neck. Now that my lashes are dry, I'm going to apply mascara to them. To do this, I will be applying Maybelline the Falsies Volume Express Mascara in the shade Black Drama. Lots of people do apply their mascara before they apply falsies. It's obviously whatever works better for you. I personally can't apply mascara before I apply my falsies because my lashes stick straight up and then it's impossible to get the falsies on. So to highlight underneath my brow bone, I will be taking the shade Venus from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette which is just this shade right here, and this is just a cheap brush from Claire's, I think, from a long time ago, but it's perfect for highlighting underneath my brow bone. So I'll just be taking that shade and applying it underneath my brow bone. Then, just to set my brows so that they don't go anywhere, I'll be using this, it used to be clear, this Great Lash by Maybelline Mascara, um, and I will just be applying this on my brows just to set them in place. Next, I'll be applying highlight, which is my favorite part. So to start, I'll be using Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. And I will be applying this using Morphe's M501 brush, which was recommended by Jaclyn Hill on her favorite Morphe brushes video. So I got it and I'm absolutely obsessed with this brush. I won't apply highlight with anything else. So I highly recommend this brush. So I'll just be applying Opal on the highest points of my face. I don't know if the camera, yeah, look at the difference. It just applies the highlight so beautifully. I'm also applying some highlight to the tip of my nose as well as my cupid's bow because there's no such thing as too much highlight. 
So I will apply mascara to my lower lashes, but I don't do that until after I set my face because I have very long lower lashes. So I find that anytime I apply lower lash mascara and then set it with setting spray, it transfers onto my under eyes, which is impossible to get off without ruining your under eye makeup. So I prefer to just apply it after. So next I'm going to be applying my lip color. This is Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in my favorite color. This is Bow and Arrow. This is my favorite liquid lipstick that I own out of my whole makeup collection. It's just a perfect brownie nude color that's perfect for every day. So I will just be applying this to my lips and slightly overdrawing my lips with this as well. Next, just to set everything in place, I'll be taking Max Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray, which I am almost out of, and spraying this all over my face just to set all of my makeup. And like I said earlier, I will now be applying just a little bit of mascara to my bottom lashes just to complete the look. And that is it for this makeup tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. It took a lot of courage to finally bite the bullet and film a video. I'm very sorry about the quality and if I'm a little awkward this is the first time I've ever filmed myself doing my makeup and I am filming on my iPhone but thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below I will list all the products I used in the description box and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye